Welcome to the Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Hope you're all staying well and staying safe. Welcome back everyone. Welcome if you're new to my channel. I did Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, Twin Flame Journey charm readings. And let's begin. And just keep in mind that this is a general reading. Let's see what messages comes through. I see that there is a divine feminine here who is focused on self, uh, focused on taking care of self, their um, their way of living. I see trying to build, trying to grow, um, trans transforming in a more, I feel, um, healthier, more positive way. It's like, I know I can be healthier. I know I can be a better version of myself. I know I can have... Um, more joy, enjoy more, have fun. Um, this is something about being being grateful, having gratitude for what you have now, where you are at now, but knowing that there can be more. The possibilities is endless. You feel like I have the I have the confidence, I have the strength within me to do more because I know I'm capable of doing more. So this is someone who has let go of a lot of things that may have held them back in the past, like fear, doubts, um, maybe even um, attention, attention that has been drawn, drawn away from their own, own um, spiritual path or their own um, self growth is now focused on self. Everything is more focused on self now. So this divine feminine is really focusing on transforming their life to be be the best version of themselves and have the best life that they know that they know is possible for them. So moving on, I see that there is something about because there is that putting out um, positive, po it's like kind of like positive energy, positive vibe. You are attracting positive things in your life, Divine Feminine here. Divine Masculine, on the other hand, in this reading, it shows here that even though that they know something was unfairly done, they don't have the strength within them to step away from something. So, for whoever this resonate for, there's a masculine here who considers themselves being in a place where it's like just bad luck. I feel like this is what I'm I'm talking from divine masculine's energy. That the divine masculine is like, I feel like nothing works out in my favor. I feel like things are always um always failing or not working out the way I planned. It shows here the divine masculine seeing um, certain aspects of their life as bad luck, things not uh, working out, no wish fulfillment, being stuck, feeling like there's no movement, feeling like there's no growth, like nothing is growing. Say if divine masculine had um, focus on a specific goal or a specific project where they're like, okay, in one year time, I see myself being here, a little bit in a better place than where I was. But when that one year came, it's like I'm, st I still remain where I started. There's no progress. There's no growth. This divine masculine feels very unlucky. They put a lot of hard work in trying to make a new beginning, a new start. There's a number of things that this divine masculine was working on. It shows that. Masculine felt, it's like intuitively he had this knowing that I can do something different, but the way it was done, 
because this divine masculine was not in alignment, because this divine masculine's energy was not of high vibration, even though he had that inner knowing, because that energetic, imagine this masculine may have been given some kind of like guidance or download that you should maybe try this masculine. This is something that's for you. But because Divine Masculine was at a low vibration, he was not able to handle what the Divine was sharing sharing to the Divine Masculine at the time. It's like giving a glimpse of what is to come. But because Divine Masculine acted in the wrong time where he was not ready to um, obtain that, it didn't work out. It didn't work out in Divine Masculine's favor. It didn't work out the way it was supposed to be, the way it was supposed to be planned out. But that's okay because sometimes what I feel and what I see in this reading is that certain things that are meant to be, they're kind of like put on hold, like placed on the shelf for when the time is right. So even though the Divine Masculine was unable to achieve a certain thing at that time, later down the line when the Divine Masculine has evolved a little bit more, spiritually evolved, raise their vibration, they will become a match to whatever they are supposed to obtain from the divine. When they are ready, it's like, this is just the, it's like, we're just giving you a sample of what, what is to come. But when you're ready, this is the real deal. That's what it is. There is a decision that needs to be made in this reading. I see a decision that the Divine Masculine needs to make between a karmic partner and a family member. Because there is something that's happening between a karmic partner and a family member. Divine Feminine, you are also there. I see that it's it kind of involves Divine Feminine, but you're there, but you're not there. It's like your presence in the 3D, the physical, you are not there. But because um, whatever this is that is connected between the karmic person and the family members, somehow you are connected in that. But you are not part of it. Okay? So if there is something that's taking place between a karmic and a family member, could be divine masculine's family members, you may be involved in some sort of way like kind of like indirectly, but you're not there. You're not part of it. So that part you don't have to worry about. It just shows that, yes, somehow you are involved, but you don't need to say anything. You don't need to do anything because this is between the karmic and the family members. I feel it has something to do with your name will be um, said. Somebody will mention you because I see here a discussion that's connected to Divine Feminine. So even if you're not present in that moment with whatever is going on between the karmic and the family members, somebody's speaking on your behalf or speaking in your favor. Because I see here that speaking with strength, but then there is love. So I feel that there are some family members or a specific family member and also, another thing to add here, because I see here that this is um, divinely orchestrated. There is something that the divine, it's like meant to be. This conversation is meant to take place for a reason. Because I see the divine stepping in into whatever this is. It's not a chance. It's not by chance. There is a reason why this conversation or the situations happening between a karmic person, Divine Masculine's karmic partner, and the family members, I feel, of Divine Masculine. There are some things that need to be revealed. It shows um, somebody from Divine Masculine's side will talk about how things didn't work out between or is not working out between um, this karmic person or the karmic person and family members or karmic and divine masculine. It's like they are giving reasons for why it is not working. And I feel they're sharing those reasons with the masculine. 
you your situation is not working out masculine because this this and this you need to see this about your partner the person you are with at this time this karmic partner i feel like that's what this family members are saying because i see here a discussion about why certain things are not working out in divine masculine's favor why is the relationships not working out relationships meaning that even there i feel there is a shakiness between masculine and the family members relationships also between masculine and the karmic and the family and the karmic so overall but divine feminine your name will be mentioned in conversation but with um with honor somebody is going to praise you because i see here that the discussion on um, the conversations that take place it is meant to bring about something and divine feminine in this reading will be mentioned at first um the reason will not be shown but there is a purpose for it i see um something about a karmic person wanting to um travel wanting to go somewhere far it shows because there is some sort of complication some there is a reason that they need to travel travel far there's a reason for it this person has tried very hard to remain strong they tried to hold on to divine masculine some of them were focused on material gain wealth there was a lot of stress burden things didn't work out because um again there was a lot of um stress there was things that were hidden from divine masculine that divine masculine should have known i feel this has to do with way of living um letters letters were being hit from divine masculine information letters some kind of um documents something in writing and then there's other messages here in this reading where um it is difficult for divine masculine to share certain information with divine feminine because divine masculine here is not really sure about how to handle the current situation with this karmic person and to share anything with divine feminine would be this masculine feels that it would be more complicated so it's best to just remain as is and try to focus on this situation with this karmic person because it looks like this masculine is aware that it can build up um some sort of uh like this masculine is trying to avoid some sort of um drama because they are aware that the situation that they are currently in is going to build up on some sort of um bitterness between divine masculine and the karmic person and by including divine feminine in some sort of way like sharing information they don't want divine feminine to be um pulled in to whatever this thing that is going on between this karmic person and the masculine so it's it's kind of like they want to um be at a distance from divine feminine at this time because there is a lot of things that they want to work on first um it's like something being very complicated but i see here that this karmic person due to some sort of complication they want to leave um maybe like permanently i'm not sure but it just shows like trying to be um trying to leave to be at a distance um from from masculine that's up ahead it's like something will be shown to divine masculine and it comes to a point where this karmic 
will propel, the energy will propel away from masculine because by then masculine's energy will start to rise in vibration. And and this karmic person's energy, because it's at a lower vibration, it will start to propel. That's where that urge to kind of like run, run away, um, go away somewhere, just like a quick, quick trip somewhere. So um, I don't feel like it's a permanent thing. I just feel like this person doesn't, it's like avoiding, wanting to avoid a conversation and wanting to avoid or cannot face the divine masculine. That's later on in the reading. So this is the reading for today. I hope you like this reading. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment below. And thank you all for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye, everyone.